Woof, 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 woof. I have some very, very good news. I got a job. I'm so pleased. And it's not just any job. It's a bikey job. It's like the M&S advert. It's not just any chocolate. It's M&S chocolate with a lady eating it in the bath. Tunnel, can you hear my bike? No, nor can I. Okay. I can hear Phil's bike, obviously. Yeah, I do think it's really cool. I'm going to be learning lots more German words because I'm going to have to. And then I might even do like one German vlog or something. I don't know. Just to be a big headed show off. <laughs> Just to show you how, how I've come along since the last time I showed you my German skills on the beach with the socks. <laughs> I think I've learned a lot more since then. Sun, sunshine. So we thought we'd go out to a lake, but this time Starnberger Sea. I've never been there, which is why we're going there. I need petrol. We're going to get some petrol too, apparently. It's quite important petrol. Unless you have an electric bike. There's clouds over there, and I don't know if it's the Alps and then clouds. I think it's the Alps. I think I can see the Alps from here. This is like five minutes from where we live. Wow. But there's quite a lot of shitty leaves on the road at the moment. It's not good for bikies. We probably won't see that many bikies out today either because a lot of them will be put away for the winter by now. I find that such a shame. Oh, oh, although I say that and then there's a bike just there. R6 or R1 or something. Definitely a yammy sports bike. I like yammies. I haven't ridden that many. Although I do remember my friend's R6 being like completely loud. I like loud bikes. Wouldn't be allowed here. It's too loud. If we stop, I'll show you how fucking dirty my bike is. I really need to clean it, but you're not allowed to clean it here in your own driveway. You have to go to a specific a specific place to clean it. Ah, because I don't want all of the oil and rubbish getting in the water system, which I think is, is fair enough, but it's really annoying. <laughs> so since we've been here, I have not cleaned my bike and that is almost three months. And three months of not cleaning is not good. Although to be fair, I haven't been riding as much as I do in the UK, so. It's not as bad as it would be in the UK. Man, still quite bad though. I cannot wait for the Christmas markets here. Not that I'm going to be able to buy much, but I just want to go and have a look around all the pretty stuff and drink the nice, is it blue vine? Oh, oh, what happened to those lines? Someone drunk? <laughs> Had a funny incident already this morning with my German skills not being up to par. <laughs> Our next door neighbour lady. I've never seen her before actually, it's the first time I've ever seen her. She came over to the wall when we were getting our bikes out and said something about Ausflug and in my head I was thinking the only time I've ever seen the word Ausflug in the airport and I, does it really look like we're going to the airport? No, I don't get it. I had to get Phil to rescue me and he said Ausflug is another word for a journey as well. I did not know this, didn't know this. I just thought it meant departure. <laughs> Oh well, you learn something new every day. That's my that's my German learning for today. Oh, oh, it looks all slippery, this road. Oh, look, there's a little river. That's why it's all slippery. It's all moisty. Moisty, feuchty. There you go. That's another German word for you, feucht. It means like damp air, I think. And another bikey. Hi, bikey man. So you've seen one sports bike, one Tory bike. Uh, the one up ahead. There's a few cars ahead, I don't know if you can see him. He is uh, an oldie bike, a retro bike. Don't know if it's an actual old bike or not, can't tell, not that close enough. So I said we weren't gonna see many bikes today and now we've seen three in like the first few minutes. Such a liar. Germans, you have surprised me with your all weather riding. It's quite nice down here, isn't it? It's quite nice down here, I like it. Oh look, there's the river going down there. And that's a nice little car park, not for bikes though, it looks terribly slippery. I'm not taking my bike in there, thank you. Maybe in the summer. Oh, it's really sweet down here. We've actually got a car as well now. So we can go and do all of our lovely shopping in a car. It's great. But I have to learn to drive again, don't I? I haven't had a car in ages. How many years has that been now? Like close to three years I haven't had a car. Haven't been driving. And now I'm in a foreign country and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to drive again. When I first started riding bikes, I was like, oh this is really hard. It's really hard cars are so much easier and now because i haven't been driving in ages i'm gonna have to get used to the big wide things oh. <laughs> it's another half church look at that mm -hmm. you can see the alps from here i could see them ages ago phil see them ages ago you can't on the film on the camera it's too far away on the camera 
But for my eyes, it looks lovely. Oh, we're getting, no, we're getting sad faces. We're getting sad faces all the time. Yeah, I think he's right. I think those things don't really work very well on motorbikes. So we're saying we're much faster than the cars, but we're not going the same fucking speed, look. We're going the same speed. How is that possible? How do they get smileys and we get saddies? It's because they, they hate motorbikes, those signs. I've actually quite enjoyed not having any money. I mean, you can't, you can't buy things you want, but it's actually been quite nice to not worry about buying stuff. You know, when you're like, oh yeah, maybe I should buy this. And then you just suddenly think, oh, I don't have any money. And then you don't have to think about it anymore. Whereas if you did have money, you'd be like, oh yeah, maybe I should buy that. And then you'd think about it more. And then I don't have to think about that. It's lovely. I think I'm going to continue buying less. I think it's, I think it's been a nice lesson for me. When I get paid with this job, I think that I'm going to be like £1,000 worse off than I was back in England, like money-wise, each month. Which is quite a lot, really. That's £12,000 a year worse off. So I'm going to have to learn to not spend as much money to, I don't know, have littler goals instead of bigger goals. Yeah, I don't mind. It's a different, it's a different kind of worrying. Different kind of worrying, but I kind of like it. It's been hard to get used to and it'll be nice to have some income again after not having money. Yeah, petrol time. Boo. What? Oh man, that's gone on my tyre. What? What? It's gone on my tyre. On your tyre, I thought it, you said fire. Can no. you hold this for <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say fire. <laughs> no. So I've had just a little bit of a change of plan. Because it hasn't taken us that long to get here and the roads seem okay at the moment, we're going to go the whole hog and go to Schloss Neuschwanstein. Woo! Which is a place that I've really wanted to go for ages. So again, in all the pictures it looks amazeballs. It's supposed to be the castle that uh, the Disney castle was based on or something? I quite like that the weather is quite changeable, like over, over weeks, not over a day here. Like in England, it could be really warm in the morning and then get really cold in the afternoon. Whereas here, it doesn't really do that. Here, it's more like for a week, you'll have about seven and then another week, you'll have about two and then another week, you'll have I don't know, rain for a week. It's quite predictable, more predictable than England. I think it's because it's, it's inland. It's not next to the sea. Yeah, I find it quite interesting and good. It's interesting good. I like it. And a supermoto. We have now collected all bike types, apart from 125s. I haven't seen any 125s out today. Where are you, learner people? Although here they don't have the CBT, so maybe there's less learner bikes. Maybe there's less people on, on, on 125s. Hmm. I think they have to actually do the proper test to be able to ride a bike. There's no, there's no CBT, put your rail plates on, off you go. Which is good, it is, it is good uh, in that it keeps everyone safer. But it's not good in that it's more expensive for young people to get into biking here. So maybe they leave it a little bit longer. Maybe they get a little bit more sensible and then ride. I don't know. I've got to say though, the kids kids in Germany do seem a little bit more sensible than the kids in the UK. What's this bike? What are you, bike? Ah, oh, you're a scooter. A scooter with two people on it. That's a penis, isn't it? Balls, big stick. It's not art, that's penis. See? Penis art. It's got three balls. Mutant penis art. Before we came to Munich, I was looking at places online, like where to live and stuff. And Starnberger See was one of the places where I saw all the really cool flats. And they were all the really cool flats that weren't as expensive as living in the middle of Munich. But it's way too far away from everything. So when you're living in Munich, it's easier to be in Munich, isn't it? Save time. You'd have to commute a long way from here to, to work. Like, yeah, to where I work now, that'll take ages. Maybe like an hour and a half each day can't be doing that but yeah the houses around here are really nice and you're right near the lake and you're right near the alps well nearer than munich not that munich's really far away from the alps anyway but you know what i mean look at all the interesting windows in that building light windows oh there's the lake hello lake oh and thank you to the people that have given me german motorbike names to look up i've made like a list i've written them all down and now i've got to go through each one and translate them on my app on my phone and then yeah and then memorize more and then yeah pretty cool thank you very much when my course ends i've got a little bit of time to learn a bit more german between you know when my course ends and when i start work so yeah that's that's what i'm going to be doing that's what i'm going to be doing learning lots of german stuff watching maybe some german youtubers 
like the one in front of me, to get some more German knowledge of bikey stuff. So that people come up to me and they'll say something and I'll be like, why? I've never heard of that before. Sturm, Halbe, was? Was bitte? And then I'll always be going up to my colleagues and be like, was bedeutet blah de blah? And they'll be like, hmm, she's an idiot. <laughs> know anything. Now nah, they're, they're pretty understanding of the fact that I've only been learning German for not very long to be honest. It's lovely and they seem like a really nice bunch of people that are all into bikes and oh I just I can't wait to start but I really want to learn some more stuff first so that I don't seem like a complete idiot when I do start. Does that make sense? Like, I want to start tomorrow but I need to learn more German first but I still can't believe I got a job. I got a job! I got a job. We're out for a ride. Life is good. What is that? Santa flags. Oh, I like them. I like them. Wow. Well, it reminds me a bit like, you know when in the past people put people's heads on pikes outside castles if they'd stolen stuff? They'd like kill them off, chop their head off, put their head on a pike. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that. It's like they didn't like the elves. Fuck off elves. I'm going to put your heads outside my wall. Oh, there's the lake again. Stamberger See, hello. Oh, you can really see the Alps behind it. But I really, really want to get to Schloss Neuschwanstein. <laughs>